Burp? Oh, excuse me. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Now, the tutorials of the game are pretty much over, aside from a little, little ditty that's gonna come right after this. A little bit of dialogue here, but it's very quick. So, this is basically gonna be the real deal portion of the game, I guess you could say now. So here we go, mini tutorial right off the bat, it's off to the open sea with us then. I'll leave all navigation to you while I stay down in the engine room, of course you will. Tap the feather pen icon to access your navigation chart. Just draw a line and the ship will follow the exact path. Try it out. So okay, just go like so and there we go. I'm gonna draw it over to Beetle's ship here just to show you what this place is like because you're probably curious about all the stuff and the stuff that's going on around the map here. Oh what? What's going on? See the engine on the right? Tap stop. To stop! To resume course. Tap go. Well, let's see, if you want to look around the sea, touch the screen's edge. That's what I did. <laughs> Stay alert out there. Touch up, down, left and right. Look in all directions. So yeah, there's this to control, that. And there's this to jump, which you're going to actually need for some stuff. But we'll get into that when we get to that. <laughs> Anyway, beetle ship. Yeah, whenever you lock onto some sort of moving vessel that you can board, uh, it'll automatically stop for you and you don't have to worry about timing yourself to get on it or something like that. So yeah, beetle ship is basically a shop and, uh, well, we don't really have the, uh, the, uh, uh, by the way, um, you'll probably notice that ship part is different for you. If it's not, you're kind of uh, lucky, I guess you could say, to be able to follow the walkthrough exactly. But uh, the thing about these ship parts is uh, they're completely randomized except for a couple of specific parts. So the ship parts that you'll see me get in my playthrough at certain times may, may not match up with the ones that you'll get during your times. Got it? Good. But there is a way to get all the ship parts in a single playthrough. Anyway, I, I can't afford that. <laughs> Uh, ship parts will upgrade your ship to have more health, uh, basically. Uh -huh. Yeah, we already know about this stuff, and we already got another one of these things to keep in mind for the future. He's, he calls it a good thing. <laughs> and uh, here's another one of those special items that's mainly for the moolah. And, well, I, I guess I could buy that for the heck of it, because why not? <laughs> I'll be able to get a whole lot more moolah. So yes, all right, I'm out of here. I just wanted to show you, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, geez, hold on a sec, hold on. <laughs> there we go, I accidentally changed the window size. <laughs> oh, oh, a member's card, woohoo! So the more points I earn, well, really it's more for rewards than anything. <laughs> All right, so one item for one point, and that's actually why I bought the, the necklace more than anything. Because <laughs> I wanted to show you the membership card thing. All right, so tap her out. I'm going to divert our attention to Cannon Island here. Because there's something to show here. It's kind of brief, but it's it's nothing that... Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, see that weird thing that just surface link? It's called a sea trap, and we're headed right for it. We can't attack it, so we only have one option. Well, only one option. Make the ship jump over it! And this is what you use the jump for! I like to tilt the camera vertically like that and then jump. Yeah, because I can see exactly where I am in relation to those spiky bars. So there we go! <laughs> and docking, 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 yeah! Cannon Island! Yeah! What are we here for? Well, there's the mailman there. <laughs> uh, no, no. Well, well, once you're done making waste, how about making some haste? <laughs> so this is closed. Uh, Baumgarten, Edo's Garage. But going up to here is what I wanted to get started here. Hey, nice to meet ya! And not like I don't want to greet ya, but I'm here to deliver your mail. Not to talk, not to talk your... Not talk your off. Yep, the postman lives for a special delivery! And your name is... Got right here. Er, uh, isn't it Link? I'm sure I'll be carrying special deliveries for you at some point. So I'd appreciate it if you didn't, you know, you know shoot me with a slingshot. <laughs> Thanks for understanding. I may also need you to sign for deliveries. Thanks. On that note, see you around the sea, sir. And he'll start delivering you stuff on the next day according to your DS's clock, or in my case, the PC's clock. <laughs> Edo's Garage. But uh, that that's for the future. That's for another day. Hey, how's it going? 
Welcome to the ship junkyard at Owl's Garage, it's all Master Edo's. I know that Master wants to sell the cannon that he's working on, so come on back later if you're interested in getting your hands on one. Alright. Uh, oh, okay, just nothing else to say. Okay. So yeah, that's all there really is to see here uh, for now. But, you know, obviously there's a lot more to see on this island based on ye old map. Uh, you might want to put a little mark on your map to indicate some sort of thing to come back over here. Like, say, uh, right cannon next to said map or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to go to the C chart here just to mark myself right over here. Here we go. C A N N O N I guess. <laughs> it's, a, it's perfect handwriting because of the slight delay and then it gets all jaggedy. <laughs> so upcoming here is the Isle of Ember. Are you excited? I'm excited. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, because that's where our first symbol is, and we are going to get that symbol, whatever it means. We're going to watch the seagulls fly by as we go there and do a full three. Oh, I was going to say do a full 360 around my swapping the camera, but I was I got there too quick. <laughs> this must be the Isle of Ember that Grandpa's talking about. We're here! Yay! There's tectites flopping around there, those blue and red bug-like critters. A sterling example of my helmsmanship. Impressed Link! What? What? Do you even know where the island was? Who sketched our course on the sea chart? Yeah! Link did! What? You piece of fluff. You just don't appreciate the finer points of sailing! But you get me, right, Link? Uh, no. Mmm. Abuse it, Captain, will you? <laughs> I really love Lineback. Okay, you little adventure monkey. Why don't you run off to find Astrid? I'll be I'll be right here waiting for you, taking care of my ship. Hmm. Of course you will. What? Staying behind? You're scared, aren't you? Me? So scared? Uh, I'm never scared, you little fluttering shrimp. You two go ahead. I'll be breaking my back working on the ship for your sakes. Sure you will. <laughs> Isle of Ember, of course. I don't know why there's a sign there, but there's a sign there. And I'm just gonna peek see around here. And you notice that there's a little, yeah, there's the blockage over here. Nothing really going on there. I just wanted to show you that wing of the island, I guess you could say. And well, maybe I should go in uh, this hut right here, because why not? Hmm. Hmm. Well, there's nothing in here. Sure looks like I, that I could push a dresser in front of the window and uh, climb out the window, doesn't it, though? Yeah, I actually tried that in my first playthrough. <laughs> Just to see if it would work, but it doesn't. Hmm. Hmm. I see a crystal ball type thing. It's probably one of those fortune teller scam artists. Yeah. But anyway, let's go downstairs and see what's going on here. And, uh, oh crap, it's a trap! Oh no! Octoroks! Octoroks, they shoot! They shoot and they're dangerous! Well, not that dangerous, really. <laughs> and that's all. What the heck is Octorox doing in this person's basement? Are they keeping pets without a license? I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Oh! Hang on, Link. I feel a presence on the other side of the store. Hmm? Hey, I hear footsteps behind there. But this door looks pretty locked to me. What should we do? Hey, let's call out! And so, at this point, you want to yell into your microphone. Um, or what's more... Uh, less, I should say, less awkward in public is to blow in your microphone. <laughs> uh, what I got the microphone set to is a hotkey on my right shoulder button on the controller. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do is press on the said button and clear back there! <laughs> Who? Who's there? Someone heard you! You did it, Link! Are the monsters gone? Get me out of here! safe out here. Who are you, the fortune teller Astrid? Yes, that's right. My name is Astrid. I was sealed in here to hide from the monsters. I didn't foresee one thing. Th See? Told you fortune tellers are scam artists. I can't open the door from the inside. I don't know who you are. Well, why, why wouldn't you be able to open the door from the inside? This is your house for one thing. So you should be able to lock other people out from your bedroom or whatnot uh, of whatever. Uh, no, I'm not going to open it because you're, yeah, you're a scam artist. If you help me out, well, mm, that's kind of tempting, but no, 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 I, I can't. Oh, you're just going to repeat yourself. Okay, okay, fine. Thank you, and good luck, because this will be tricky. You see the map hanging beside the door? That map is somehow key to opening the door. Unfortunately, only my assistant, Kayo, knows the secret to... Oh. Okay, got it, so you have to find Kayo to learn his secret. 
Hold on, Ast. We'll get you out of here as soon as possible. All right. So, um, what you want to do here on the way is look for torches. Yes, torches. Why torches? Well, you'll see. <laughs> What is this? Uh, wait, did I, did I click that before? Well, no, I did. It's the fortune teller. So in here, use a torch. Look at that. Look at that. And I'm going to make a mark on my map right there. That's sounding good. Sounding good. Okay. <laughs> if you're reading my words, it means I have fallen to fate. So look east to pick up the torch and take up my duty, Kayo. Oh. Stop doing that. Like, this is Kyle's journal. Looks like you traveled to the east side of the island. Let's go that way, too. Okay, so east side of the island, we are off to. And thus, we need to cross the Bridge of Doom past... Uh, well, I was going to say choo-choos of doom, but they're not really doom. They're so easy to avoid, it's crazy. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck? Electric fence. Summit path, approval near for entry. This is awfully high tech for this sort of island. <laughs> Whoa, tech tights! Take that! Take that! And that! You're not! And this! And that too! Yes! <laughs> oh! Oh no! Fallen adventure. Look, Link, just like the Temple of the Ocean King. Ah, oh, ghost! It's like doing the sword at it! Good forest will get you nowhere. Sing the sword anyway! Ah! It's a ghost! Get him, Link! Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Oh, wait, wait, go, he's a warrior before you come after me. I must look really bad, but I swear I'm not a bad ghost. Hmm. Well, to be honest, he doesn't really look like an evil ghost. My name is Kayo. I used to work for Astrid, the fortune teller. Oh, just look what's become of you, poor thing. If you believe in fate, then it's not so bad. I do feel much lighter. <laughs> <laughs> I could understand that, since you don't have a body. Of graver concern, though, is what happened to Astrid. It haunts me. I just saw Astrid. She asked us to open the door that locks her in. What? So Mr. Astrid is alright? Well, then please open the door for me. I'll tell you the secret. The three torches on this island are the key to understanding. Keep that in mind, and you may be able to open the door. One torch is right here. Make note of your maps, lest you forget. Yep. Alright. Please take care of Astrid. Alrighty. You enjoy your resting place here. Yeah, you, you kind of said that before. <laughs> okay, alright. So for the other torch, I'm going to go over to this side of the island of... Z oh, yellow choo-choo. These are electrified. you got to time your sword strikes to hit them. Otherwise, you'll zap yourself on their zappy bodies of doom because your sword is quite conductive. <laughs> uh, here. Oh, look at that, though. There's a treasure chest there, but I was going to say there's a torch there. So let's make a mark on the map for where the head is. And there is the third and final torch. Obviously, I knew they were ahead of time, though. But <laughs> as I said, I'd like to sort of kind of explain the puzzles as I go, because the part of the fun of this game is the logic behind said puzzles as you go. I, yeah. <laughs> So, I, I just like exploring the lands. Ah, no, 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 you don't. Ah, my, mm, you stole my rupee. Dang you for stealing my rupee. And I'm low on health because I'm kind of kind of rushing through things here. <laughs> but I am golden here because I can just flop around to this portion of the island. And, uh, well, I, actually, I believe there are some hearts inside here every single time, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. <laughs> so, that works in my favor. All right, so since I got all the torches marked on the map, let's go over to here and touch said map. Mark the locations of our islands, three torches. So there's one there, there's one over here, and there's one in this house. Woohoohoo! Oh yeah! And this opens the door to destiny! We can finally see Astrid's face. <laughs> Thank you for opening the door. I'm finally free to go outside again. You bested the monsters who guarded me, so you are no ordinary travelers. Um, no. Oh, don't be modest. This is Link and I'm Celia. Nice to meet you. Dang it! You're giving your information out. You shouldn't be doing that, especially with the age of Google and freaking, freaking Google. And I'll forget about it. <laughs> Link, it involves kindness and strength in the same breath. Lovely name. Now tell me, what brought you on our island? Um, vacation! I think not. It's a barren island with a volcano. You're here for more... Mm, uh, I forgot. I forgot. You're forgetful. You might want to add more muscle to your mind. 
Oh, we're just going to repeat yourself. Oh, okay. A ship! <laughs> Link is looking for his friend who was thinking about the ghost ship. Astrid, we were hoping that you might have some insights. Is that so? The ghost ship came to our island a few days ago. That's why I was hidden away to escape its ruinous reach. But you blocked yourself in without a way out. Nice going! Since, shouldn't you have foretold that? Speaking of which, I haven't seen Kaio since then. Astrid, about that. Well, Kaio, he's... I see. I sensed it. Just as I foresaw, but it was destiny. Well, life is a little use for mourning, so Kao thought. Shall I tell you your fortune? Nah, that's okay. You're a terrible fortune teller. It must be something very trivial. You don't have to restrain yourself. Fine, fine. <laughs> Just got, gotta click the thing they want, I guess. Alright, I guess we'll bring along line back. I mean, why not? I mean, he might be interested in this. Hmm. Confound that. You think that someone who sees the future should be on time. Yes, thank you. You see the scam in this too. Where is Astrid? Let's get our fortune told and be done with it. Do, 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 do. Greetings. Now, if everyone is here, we can begin. Ooh, bright and shiny. Oh, my eyes to the future. A sinister darkness. The mighty sea and the voice of sacred lights. Hmm? I see it! I shall speak! Listen with your hearts! Well, if you really want to find the ghost ship Link, you must be ready to clash with the very darkness itself! Knowing that... Uh, um, no! That's scary! Really? If that's the path you've chosen, so shall it be. And Link walks out. <laughs> what? Link! Treasure! I, I mean Tetra! What about Tetra? <laughs> find the help, right Link? Well, no, the darkness. No, stop joking around! Mm. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I believe you all alone. Without a dark. Let's talk to Astrid. I just like showing those little bits of extra dialogue if you refuse the stuff. I foresaw your return. It is your fate, of course. Many trials still await you, however. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very nice. The honesty in your eyes is crystal clear. Now, make haste to the Temple of Fire in the summit of this island. There you must defeat the power of darkness that haunts the place. You will then find what you need to open the path that lies ahead of you. You have it within you to alter our doomed course of events, Link. But the light that sinks your, your help is growing faint. Please hurry. Power of darkness, eh? Hey, kid. I, uh, just remember, I have to go polish the, uh, uh ship's rudder. Later, kid. Sheesh, what's with the back? Oh, let's just leave him being hurried to the temple. Okay, let's just see. I release a seal on the door to the summit. Go to the Temple of Fire. I wish you well for the battles soon to come. Be safe. So, okay, the seal that she released is that high-tech electric door that we passed by to get over to said summit. So, let's go back over to said door thusly. Yes, I was holding my stylus off the screen. Hey, look at that! Oh, okay, we didn't your Temple of Fire to peek through here. Come on, tap the door to open it, Link. Yeah, this is a regular old door now. Just tap and go. <laughs> All right, so now we got a little. No, oh, now we got a little path to go around here to see what is up around the place. See if we can get up to said temple. Dead end. Uh oh, oh no, oh no, that's never a good sign. Watch out for the shadows. Look, the volcanoes are up there. Watch out for falling rocks. Yeah, really, you're not looking for rocks, you're looking for shadows, because the shadows indicate the rocks far better than the rocks actually indicate themselves. Oh, why did I do that? I Like, I knew there was a ledge there, and I got too close to it. <laughs> roll, Link, roll! Roll like the wind to get back to where you were. Oh, forget it. <laughs> yeah, of course, this closes back on me. Just because... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you for the shielding. <laughs> the shielding happens automatically. Okay, it's going up. And uh, the red ones are a lot faster and take more hits, so I'd prefer to kind of avoid them if I can. Thank you, thank you. Well, I don't, I don't really need to avoid them, really. I could just, yeah, see, take three hits instead of two. But uh, since I'm running away from ye old boulders of doom, I, I, I kind of don't really want to battle with them. <laughs> so the temple entrance is sealed, so we can't really find... I mean, we can't really just walk in there, of course. That would be far too easy. Let's just look around here and see if there's a hint to actually getting in there. Blow out the flames to illuminate the path ahead. Really? Really? 
So maybe, maybe those candles next to the doors to the temple, ooh, nice, <laughs> will be able to be maybe sort of kind of blown out with the microphone. Can't I jump down? Okay, there we go. Well, let's see if I can blow them out. Hey, let's just, uh, oh, look at that. I can blow them out with the microphone without even blowing in a microphone because the microphone doesn't really work for me on this. <laughs> That's why I have it set to a hockey. <laughs> Woohoo! And the entrance to the first dungeon is open! Now we can enter the temple. We did it, Link! Now what? No, let's go face up to the power of darkness! Well, I guess technically second dungeon. So let's go in and check the place out. Whoa! Thank you, Audio Glitch, for just messing me up here. So this is the Temple of Fire, the game's sorta kinda second dungeon that I'm gonna start in next part. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you then. Oh yeah, don't forget to save ever.